let us see the next problem let o be the center of the circle and ab be the tangent now from this diagram the given information is diameter diameter d is equal to 32 cm and ab is equal to 30 cm then you have to find the length of ao is equal to the length of ao is equal to and angle angle aob angle a o b is equal to blank if angle b a o is equal to 30 degrees with this information you have to find the length of the a o as well as angle a o b now diameter is equal to 32 therefore radius r is equal to diameter by 2 that is 32 by 2 that is equal to 16 cm now i am ready with the radius radius is 16 and ab is 30 cm now from this one we have to find now from triangle from triangle aob angle abo equal to 90 degrees reason angle at point of contact reason angle at the point of contact is 90 degrees now from this one we have to find hypotenuse square ao square is equal to ob square plus ab square that is ao square is equal to ob square 16 square plus ab is 30 square that is ao is equal to root over 16 16s are 256 plus 900 that is ao is equal to root over 1156 1156 that is ao is equal to that is 34 cm 34 34s are 1156 now ao is equal to length of ao is equal to 34 cm this is we what find next we have to find angle aob aob we have to find for that one bao is given 30 degrees that is we know that sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees now from triangle aob from triangle aob angle a plus angle b plus angle aob is equal to 180 degrees reason angle sum property that is angle a is given 30 degrees angle a is given 30 degrees plus angle b is 90 degrees angle aob is equal to 180 degrees now angle aob is equal to 180 minus 30 plus 90 that is 30 plus 90 Minus of thirty plus ninety. That is, angle AOB is equal to one eighty degrees minus one twenty degrees. Therefore, 
angle AOB is equal to 60 degrees. Now, let us see the second problem. Let O be the center of the circle and AB comma AC are the two tangents. AB comma AC are the two tangents. Now, we have to find it is the center of the circle O. Now, suppose it is a 60 degrees that is angle BAC is equal to 60 degrees and you have to find out angle BOC is equal to blank and one more thing you have to find join BC join BC and what is the angle of angle O B C is equal to again you have to find. Now answer from this figure we understand that O is the center of the circle and A B comma A C are tangents from point A that is we understand that A B is equal to A C. Now, we know that A B O C is a cyclic quadrilateral. A B O C, A B O C is a cyclic quadrilateral. We know that sum of angles, sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. That is angle B A C plus angle B O C is equal to 180 degrees. Reason opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral given that angle BAC equal to 60 degrees plus angle BOC is equal to 180 degrees therefore angle BOC is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees therefore angle BOC is equal to 120 degrees. Now angle BOC is over. Now we have to find angle OBC. OBC we have to find. That is we know that we know that what we know that is angle B A C B A C is two times of angle O B C. This is the theorem we know very well. That is angle B A C equal to 60 degrees is equal to 2 into angle O B C. Now 2 into angle OBC is equal to 60 degrees. Two table angle OBC is equal to 30 degrees. Let us see the next problem. Let O be the center of the circle. PA comma PB are the two tangents and let O be the center of the circle. Join OA and OB. Now, here the angle is 110 degrees that is angle APB is equal to 110 degrees. 
now you have to find that is you have to find angle ad adb equal to blank and join op join op secondly you have to find angle a p o blank and third you have to find angle a o p blank fourth you have to find angle a o b that is you have to find this one angle a o b is equal to blank now answer let us see from the given triangle <coughs> pa comma pb are the tangents drawn from rational point p o be the center of the circle angle a p b is equal to 110 degrees now given angle a p b is equal to 110 degrees now a p b is break down into two parts that is angle a p o plus angle b p o is equal to 110 degrees now angle a p o plus angle a p o is equal to 110 degrees reason tangents drawn from an external points are equally inclined the line segment joining from that point to the center that is two angle apo is equal to 110 degrees angle apo is equal to 110 degrees by 2 angle apo is equal to 55 degrees angle apo is equal to 55 degrees now angle apo 55 degrees completed now angle adb angle adb we have to find that is P A O B is a cyclic quadrilateral. P A O B is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, in cyclic quadrilateral angle A P B. plus angle aob is equal to 180 degrees reason sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees angle apb is 110 degrees plus angle aob is equal to 180 degrees angle aob is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees therefore angle aob is equal to 70 degrees now i am ready with angle aob 70 degrees now let us come to adb a d b to get angle adb is equal to adb is equal to half into reflex angle aob half into reflex angle aob that is angle adb 
इज इक्वल टू ए डी बी ए डी बी इज इक्वल टू हाफ इंटू रिफ्लेक्स एंगल ए ओ बी कम्स सेवेंटी डिग्री डोंट यूज रिफ्लेक्स जस्ट ए ओ बी ए सेवेंटी डिग्री दट इज एंगल ए डी बी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री हाफ ऑफ एंगल ए डी बी इज थर्टी फाइव डिग्री नाउ ए डी बी इज थर्टी फाइव डिग्री नाउ वी हेव टू फाइंड द लास्ट एंगल ए ओ पी ए ओ पी नाउ फ्रम ट्राइंगल ए ओ पी फ्रम ट्राइंगल ए ओ पी लेट एस टेक ट्राइंगल ए ओ पी angle at the point of contact 90 angle at the point of contact is 90 now p a o here the angle is 90 degrees and it is shown that angle apo apo is 55 degrees that is we can write from this diagram angle a plus angle p plus angle aop 180 degrees that is 90 degrees plus 55 degrees plus angle aop is equal to 180 degrees 90 plus 55 144 plus 145 plus angle aop is equal to 180 degrees angle aop is equal to 180 minus 145 that is therefore angle aop is equal to 35 degrees angle aop is 35 degrees let us see the next example let o be the center of the circle ab comma ac are the two tangents ab comma ac are the two tangents drawn from an external point a now the length of ob is 5 cm and the length of ao is 13 cm now you have to find ab equal to blank and ac equal to blank this is you have to find now from triangle aob we know that tangents ab comma ac are drawn from rational point a and we know that they are equal now from triangle aob take the triangle out b o at b 90 degrees and ob is given 5 cm and oa is given 13 cm we know very well from pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square ao square is equal to ab square plus ob square that is ao square is equal to ab square we have to find ob square is phi square that is equal to AO value is all already given. There is a thirteen square, which is nothing but one sixty nine is equal to AB square plus twenty five not five square nothing but twenty five. Now therefore, AB square is equal to one sixty nine minus twenty five. AB square is equal to 
144 ab is equal to root 144 and ab is equal to 12 centimeters ab is equal to 12 centimeters therefore what we conclude ab is equal to ac is equal to 12 centimeters because these two are the tangents drawn from external point are equal now let us see the next one a circle is inscribed in a triangle a circle is inscribed in triangle ABC and circle touches the sides at three points name it P Q R and the length of AR is three centimeters the length of RB is four centimeters and the length of BC is 11 centimeters. Then you had to find what is the length of the AC you have to find. That is answer given given AR is equal to 3 centimeters, RB is equal to 4 centimeters, and BC is equal to 11 centimeters. Now, we know that we know that tangents drawn from An external point, an external point of a circle are equal. We know that the tangents drawn from an external point of a circle are equal. Here, A comma B comma C are external points therefore what we conclude here a r is equal to a q condition number one condition number two b r is equal to b p next c p is equal to CP is equal to CQ. Now, let us see AR is equal to that is AQ is equal to AR is equal to AQ that is these two are equal to 3 centimeters. Since AR is equal to AQ this part and this part is equal. To. Next BR is equal to BP that is a br value vp value is equal to 4 centimeters cp cq i don't know cp i don't know cq but to find cp to find cp i will use the condition bc minus bp that is cp is equal to bc value is given 11 centimeters minus BP value is 4 centimeters. Therefore, CP is equal to 7 centimeters I got. Now, therefore, here it is a blank position we have to find. CP is equal to CQ, but I know the CP value that is a 7 centimeters. This is the blank given means this is the value we are going to find. Now, after that, I have to find the length of AC. AC is equal to AQ plus QC. That is 
AC is equal to AC is equal to what is the value of the AQ? AQ is the 3 centimeters plus what is the value of the QC? QC is the 7 centimeters. The value of QC, QC is 7 centimeters. Therefore, the length of AC is 10 centimeters. Next, let us see the third one, the same diagram. A circle is inscribed in a triangle. A circle is inscribed in a triangle. X, Y, Z. A circle which touches at three different points, name it as A, B, C. Now, YA, YA value is 5 centimeters and AZ value is 6 centimeters. And total XZ value is 13 centimeters. Then what you have to find? You have to find XC, CY. XB and BZ and perimeter of triangle XYZ. We have to find all these. Now, answer what is the given information, right? given information from triangle XYZ from triangle XYZ circle touches the sides circle touches the sides at A comma B comma C respectively and the values given are a y is equal to 5 centimeters a z is equal to 6 centimeters and x z is equal to 13 centimeters next we know that tangents drawn from external point we know the tangents drawn from external point of a circle are equal that we know now, C y is equal to, here the external points are right here, x comma y comma z are external points. That is, C y is equal to A y is equal to 5 centimeters. Next, BZ is equal to AZ is equal to 6 centimeters. Now, XC is equal to 
x b is equal to both are unknown. Now I have to find the value of b x. Now b x is equal to I am going to find the value of this one x z minus b z that is x z is 13 centimeters minus 13 minus b z value is 6 that is that is equal to 7 therefore b x is equal to x z is equal to 7 centimeters now now b x is equal to x z b x is equal to sorry b x is equal to 7 centimeters now if you know b x value b x is equal to x c is equal to blank we are going to find now i got the value of b x therefore which is 7 centimeters now i am ready with the, all the three values now we know that we know that x c plus y a plus z b is equal to half into perimeter of triangle x y z this is the one of the best theorem we know well now x c x c value is a 7 plus y a 5 z b z b 6 centimeters is equal to half into perimeter of triangle x y z now 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 6 18 18 into 2 is equal to perimeter of triangle x y z therefore perimeter of triangle x y z is equal to 18 twos are 36 centimeters